This will be car in snow or car in sand. You see? This is not pure rolling motion. This is an example where your the tire your burning tire it's turning faster than tr uh, translating. Okay? So in that case the contact point is actually going back even though the object as a whole is moving forward, okay? Another kind of case where you can get something like that is uh, imagine if I were to get some kind of a string and then hold this with the string and then just go like that, like a yo-yo, okay? Get this, roll, get this rotating before I place it on the table, okay? Then, so I have a string, imagine, pew, rotating rotating then I put it what happens I put it so now at the beginning it's gonna move forward at a rate where the spin rate is gonna be faster than the translational rate until you're gonna uh, get to some point here where a friction uh, is gonna be uh, friction is gonna be this way and friction is gonna slow the spin rate down okay one of your extra credits extra credit questions in chapter 10 is like that. So have fun with that, okay? It says uh, you take a yo-yo, you spin it, you put it on the table, and then it says, asks you to calculate how long it takes to achieve pure rolling motion. Another kind of case where you can get this is like a, something like this. See, I'm a professional pool player here. Oh, you see, yeah, pretty good here, there. Okay, if you hit it from the top, you can get a situation where it spins more than, okay? I don't know if it happened there, but you could get a situation where its spin rate is faster than its translational velocity. Now, the other extreme of this is The other kind of situation is like this. The other extreme is V tangential is less than V center of mass. That's the other extreme. Here's where you have a situation where the car is, let's say, moving forward 40 miles an hour, spinning at the uh, 30 miles an hour, and you end up with uh, the, the contact point is moving forward at 10, and the top point is moving at 70. So this time the contact point is sliding forward, not backward. This would happen like car in rain or oil, okay? Or it would happen like, let's say, if I hit the billiard ball at a particular location, like maybe down below, where I give it more translational velocity. Uh, tr velocity. Let's see if I could do this. Redeem myself here. The other hit wasn't good. Let's see. I think it's down here. Well, that one had no rotation at all, you know? <laughs> Just pure translation. But if the table was long enough, eventually the rotation would come about, right? Friction would cause it to start rotating. Now, you, uh, you could have another variation of this where you could hit it and it's spinning backward and going forward. It, pool players do that all the time, you see? So pool players have, have to take this course, then start playing pool. All those guys know calculus, physics, everything, you know? Uh, 
Okay, so now that we've said that, most of the motion we will concentrate on is pure rolling motion. So let's solve a problem like this. 